Hello, my name is Christopher, and today I will be showing you how to install Alexa Media Player on Home Assistant. It, this makes it to where you can control your Echo devices and your Fire TVs and uh, get past the thing of always having to have a skill for Home Assistant and be able to send a command to the Amazon device, and then it will use its skills to do it. So, um, and you can also start music, different things like that. So, um, so this series is about starting a home, a smart home from scratch, and I'm going to go over the installation, then setting up home automations, and if you want to follow along, subscribe, comment, and like. Thank you. Stay tuned. So today I'll be starting off from my last video on installing hacks. I'll be starting off with that installation because it already has hacks in it. And um, what hacks is, is it's this Home Assistant Community Store. I went over it very in detail in the last video. So I'll link, a, I'll link in the description. Um, so I'm gonna start off in here. This is GitHub and it's got the Alexa Media Player. Um, this makes it to where you can play, pause, stop, next previous volume, send commands to your uh, Echo devices, and uh, I have 67 uh, devices, so I use them to send commands around the house of uh, saying different things like it's sunset or it's it's nighttime, and then that tells my family that certain things are happening. With home automations then um so how you install this let's go to the wiki real quick you will have to have a two-factor authentication on your amazon account the built-in there and um i strongly recommend two-factor at least um so the easy mode is to where you install it with hacks you can also install it manually but I prefer to install with hacks. I've installed it manually and it's just more time installing it. So um so you'll you can go down here and you can see the configuration and the uh, the inclusion exclusions. Um you can exclude devices, you can exclude devices from it, you you can change the scan interval. Of when it uh, contacts Amazon, but if you change this too much, Amazon can throttle you. So let's go ahead and let's go to the Home Assistant installation. Like I said, this has got hacks installed and Home Assistant. Uh, it's a fresh one. So um, I will link it in the description for installing Home Assistant and the Hacks uh, integration. So um, let's go over to Hacks right here. And let's go to Integrations. And then let's go down here to Explore and Download Repositories. And if you type in here Alexa, you'll see Alexa Media Player. So it gives you a README, installation, configuration, FAQs, repository, form post, general info. And then you can see the statistics. It's been downloaded 612,000 times. So um, let's go here to download down here on the bottom right. Then you can see your versions. I'm going to go with the latest, which is 464. It's going to install it in the config of the custom components directory. And uh, remember, you do need to restart Home Assistant. And I'm going to press the download button. OK, should be downloaded. If you go backwards, you go to pending restart right here. You should see that. I'm going to go backwards again. And then it says pending restart. You have one integration. And it's requesting you to restart Home Assistant to get this integration working. And why you have to do this is because it's installed actually in directories on the Home Assistant installation. Then Home Assistant picks it up when it comes up and starts. 
So I'm going to go over here to navigate, then I'm going to uh, go to restart button right here. I'm going to restart Home Assistant right here. Continue. And then you'll say it's reconnecting down here. And then it's coming back up, starting Supervisor. Okay, it's fully started back up. So you should go over here to Hacks, and you can see that Alexa Media Player is now installed. So it's installed in the directory. It's been put in the directory. And uh, now you can go over to Settings. Then you can go up here to Integrations, which is Devices and Services. And then you can scroll down to Add Integration right here. Then you can type in Alexa. You can see that it is a custom com integration. Then it depends on the cloud. So I'm going to click that. I'm going to start the wizard. So I'm going to pause it right here, put in my credentials, and I will be back. So I'm back. So when you are installing um, and setting up your credentials, um, you need to go in here and built in two-factor app. Um, so you need to go to the Amazon two-factor page. Then you need to click the add new app and you should save this key. So your result on the re reinstall. So instead of scanning the QR code, you'll see can't scan the barcode. Then the selected bold value under your enter key. So you'll, you'll, you'll copy this huge key that you will be generated on your Amazon page. And then um, down in the built-in two-factor uh, app key, you will uh, set up this and you will copy this key into this field. So um, that should work. And then it will send you to the Alexa page. And then that's where you will use OAuth to uh, to get it to where you'll connect your Alexa uh, devices to your Amazon account. And um, so you'll, you'll connect your Alexa account to the a home assistant. So um, once you do that, you'll go over here and you'll scroll down and you'll see this, I have 67 devices and then 228 entities. So today I just showed you how to install Alexa Media Player on Home Assistant. It makes it to where you can send commands to your Echoes through home automations, different things like that through your Media Player. And um, when you're setting up the uh, Amazon account on the Home Assistant installation of the Alexa Media Player, make sure you do not use your six digit two factor code go over there and I'll link it down in the description, all the instructions on how to do it. Then you will go and you will uh, say add new app in that page. Then you'll go to can't scan barcode and then you'll put in that huge n number and digits and, uh, and then you'll put it inside the app key. Um, so when you, once you do that, you'll just hit the submit button. It'll bring it all up. You get it, it'll get it all from the cloud, and you should see all your uh, Echo devices, your Fire TVs, different things like that inside of Home Assistant. And uh, stay tuned for more on this series of starting a home smart home from scratch.